Miami Heat. Game seven from South Florida as we welcome you on a gorgeous day in Miami. 291st consecutive sellout at the American Airlines Arena as the first round of the 2016 NBA playoffs winds down for Dwayne Wade, his seventh career, game seven. And he made sure there was a game seven by scoring eight critical points in the final four minutes of game six on the road to get his team back here on their home floor. Dragic, too strong. Rebound, right side, another offensive board. Wade gets in there. of the afternoon here in Miami. Wade all alone down the other end. They lost sight of him for a moment. Jeremy Lin has come in for the first time. And Wade able to knock it down. Wade in the last two games, 25 points in game five, 23 points in game six. And what's interesting, guys, we were watching during the national anthem, it's a beautiful national anthem. Wade appeared to get very emotional. You know, you wonder, he's been through so many battles here in Miami. He's had so many injuries. I guess wonder perhaps, you know, how many more times he's going to have this type of competition, get another game seven here on the home floor. Johnson back out, Wade. Wade thought about a three. Fairly successful the other night with those. Drives inside on a beauty. Spectacular move. Looked like he was going to go to the opposite side of the rim. Instead, squeezes in the, the layup. Beautiful move by Wade. Wade will reset. Wade drives, layup, banks it in. Miami starting to pull away on 18 point advantage. Yeah, the question. If he's making moves like this this late in his career, why is he the one crying? Gets inside. Dang. For three. A wire-to-wire -wire victory, and the two terrific coaches with the exchange. Dwayne Wade did it on Friday night to make sure his team got to a Game 7, and he had plenty of help here this afternoon. showed before the game was crying during the national anthem as tears streaming down his face and again he's starting to really appreciate all that he's been through through his career another chance for a big moment on Friday night and here in a game seven and now we'll get another series coming up in the second round
emotional. We thought we saw you with a tear in your eye. What, what, uh, is, was that what we saw no, and just, why? Just focus, you know, just focus, you know, thinking about the moment. Um, you know, uh, this team, you know, it's been all season. We've had opportunities to cave. And every time we've been um, in that situation, we've somehow prevailed. And I'm um, proud of this team. And I knew tonight would be a great moment for these guys. You know, I, I felt that we already was, was going to win this game. I knew that our energy and our crowd was going to be enough and we was going to be prepared. And uh, I was just thinking about how these guys are going to feel after playing in the game seven. Goran Dragic looked like the Goran Dragic who was dominant at times in Phoenix. Yeah. How does he change the dynamic long term for your group if he plays at that level? Man, that's the Goran Dragic we all love. I mean, just putting so much pressure on the defense um, and it allows other guys to just chill out. <laughs> and uh, especially me, it gives me a chance to get off the ball and rest it in when I'm needed do my job so you know we want Gorman to understand that when he's playing that special for us that we're a tough tough team to beat. Adversity is nothing new to this group you've been through a couple of different iterations yeah. of your team how have you survived and now advanced through this playoffs? We've just uh, continued to believe in each other uh, my coaches has been amazing with doing a great job of getting us prepared for each game in each series it's not easy losing um, an all-star player a Hall of Fame player and Chris Bosch and trying to make something of the season. But everybody to a man um, has came out and done, you know, an amazing job of coming out here and uh, playing the game of basketball the way they're supposed to within the system of our team. I give a lot of credit to Lou Aldane uh, for coming out and really elevating his game to another level and, um, and getting Joe helped. And so everything is worked for us. And, um, you know, we're glad to be in this situation. I wish we had that guy, you know, as we continue to play. But, um, you know, with the team we have, you know, it's good enough to win. We look forward to the next round. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.